Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News with Stout's American Pale Ale. Really nice cover on this. Uh, Adamstown, Pennsylvania. Let's see if we can get some information for you. Stouts.com. Another brewery that doesn't put its ABV on the label. Mm. But it's an American Pale Ale, so um, as far as I know, the rules it's guaranteed to be basically guaranteed to be under six percent. So there we go. This is going to be one of those surprise, surprise kind of deals. I don't have a stout glass, so I'm just using another pint glass with full pint. A little hearty pour on the, on the beginning, so it's going to have a bit of a big head on it. Bit of a big head. Good amount of carbonation going on, actually. A lot more than I thought it would actually have. Bit of bottle conditioning, a little sediment, at least. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. That's a lot of carbonation going on. Lovely. Just, just, just a little bit of a golden color. Exactly what you want for a nice pale ale. Got some hoppage. Stouts to me, from what I, I've, I've heard other people talk about too, it's not one of those. They don't do, they don't make epic beers or anything like that. But if they can make a very good, consistent beer, I'm happy with it. And this does have a bit of bit of a. It's got a bit of a spicy, earthy hop mixed with citrus. But it definitely. Mm. You get, you get your grapefruit, you get a bit of earth and a bit of spice too, a little bit of pepperiness with, with some of this hops. So I don't exactly know the hops that they use, but but it's definitely something I, I could definitely get into. I like the smell of this. Mm, get all that sediment in there. Don't worry, the head will filter it out. Look at that. It's going absolutely bitch cakes. But that's what happens. I'm just going to let this calm down and we'll get back to you. Hi guys, we're back. It's calmed down. The smell on this reminds me of the Stone IPA. That kind of bit of a, you get a bit of that citrus nose, but you have a little bit more of an earthy quality to it. get more of a like a lemon quality with the citrus notes in your mouth there's a bit of there's there's a bit of bitter there's a bit of bitterness too and um, if you really like your bitterness there's not enough but this is would be more than enough bitterness for most people most beer drinkers would would almost some like some macro beer drinkers would consider this too bitter so there's a good amount of bitterness in here. I'm thinking around like 60. I'd say 60 IBUs. Eh. Might want to. I bump that. I might even bump it up to 80. It's pretty good. Um. You have a light malt. There's a light malt. You float. It's a and it's a it's a light medium mouthfeel. So it's more based on that whole sessionable, drink them good, drink them cold, drink them fast quality. But with craft beer instead of the macro lagers and stuff like that. So this is very good. It has that refreshing, earthy, fuggly quality, but mixed with. There is the nice kind of citrus notes to them too. <coughs> I'm repeating myself, but sometimes there's not a lot of you can talk about with a beer. Kids upstairs having a fit. That's fun. But it's definitely an excellent uh, American style pale ale. 
Um, like I said, it's not piney though, but it's leaning towards like a stone IPA. Mm. Well, let me kill this. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. This one's getting an 8.5. I was going to give it an 8 with the last swig. I liked it a lot. There's a lot of nice bitterness going on. Mmm. 8.5. Definitely check it out. This has been Paul from PA Brew News with Stout's American Style Pale Ale. Cheers.